decades of waiting have finally led us to this moment. Now, we are only a month away from witnessing history. The US, European and Canadian space agencies have come together to create the James Webb Space Telescope, dubbed by many as the telescope that aids astronomy. At 6.5 meters in diameter, its astronomical mirror is the largest ever and will unfold to reveal an origami-like structure. The telescope is so large, it doesn't fit in the fairing of the spaceship that's going to launch it. Right. So they have to take the mirror and fold it up like the petals of a flower, okay? Then the thing gets launched, deployed, and then it unfurls nice. into the mirror. It's a brilliant engineering co concept to make this thing happen. That is, if the JWST does, in fact, launch. Fingers crossed that it can finally begin its mission and leave our earthly world behind. But why has it taken so long to launch? It's unique design and engineering. You don't pull that stuff off the shelf. No. And why are we now sure that it will be launched this December? Let's find out in this video. Why the holdup? One would think that a government-funded program would be much more concise with their due dates. But this was not the case with NASA. Unfortunately, NASA often takes the latter half of the government's budget. With no real urgency to explore space, they often receive an influx of budget cuts. Some years they may gain more money, while others they lose out on millions. This inconsistent funding has forced NASA's executives to work around the money they had. After all, the JWST is a $10 billion project, and they did not always have the funds to build it. The first delay was in 2003. Production was pushed back to 2011 in the face of war. The budget rerouted to the military, and NASA took a backseat in funding. The second delay was in 2011 when mounting problems forced an overhaul, budget increase, and readjusted mission schedule. It was delayed again to October 2018. That launch date remained intact until September of 2017, when it was pushed back to spring of 2019. By March 2018, the date was pushed a third time, with a new launch date set for spring 2020. That date would also slip to October 31st, 2021, then again to December 18, 2021. More so, one must remember that there's only one chance to get this launch right, the concept of trial and error does not apply to a $10 billion project. If anything remotely troublesome was detected, everything was torn down from the ground up to resolve the issue. The scientists and engineers meticulously built the JWST to perfection as a passion project and a significant engineering feat. Assuming this launch date holds and all signs point to yes, the JWST will be in full swing by early 2022. The mission. The recent success of the Ariane 5 launch has allowed preparations for the launch of the James Webb Telescope to move into the home stretch. With a projected launch date of December 18, it will not be much longer till we explore space like we never before. With a new ability to see 13.5 billion years back in time, the human race will be entering a golden age of space exploration. After its initial launch on December 18, the JWST will travel 29 days across a million miles of space to its final orbiting location. During those 29 days, the JWST will have to unfold slowly. It will be a nail-biting time for the crew at NASA, because if something were to go wrong, then the entire mission would be a failure. They only get one chance to do this right. Once the JWST has reached its final orbit, it will remain there for the rest of its life, with enough fuel to remain operable for a minimum of five years. The JWST will be able to discover endless possibilities in its short lifespan. Its goals are simple and are to find out what the early stages of the universe looked like, as well as create a timeline of stars and galaxies. If that wasn't impressive enough, it will be researching the origins of black holes taking pictures of the life cycle of a star, observing the creation and evolution of planetary systems, and observing exoplanets and their atmospheres. These are questions that have remained in the realm of speculation for decades. Until the JWST, we have not remotely had the technology to study these questions in depth. Now, with a telescope that can peer millions of years into the past, it is time we got answers. History of the Telescope 
1990, the beloved NASA telescope Hubble launched into the atmosphere above, proving a big success. It was not long after that, in 1996, that we began to work on its successor. It was called the Next Generation Space Telescope. However, in 2002, it was renamed the James Webb Space Telescope, in honor of former NASA Administrator James Webb. The JWST is bigger, better, and much more complicated than the Hubble. With its primary focus on infrared light, it will see stuff that the Hubble cannot. The design of the Hubble takes into account everything it sees, meaning that it is a victim of light pollution, a factor that has been plaguing astronomers for centuries. When astronomers quickly realized the limitations of their design, a telescope that could genuinely see everything began its production. They began to build a telescope that could filter out light pollution and see past the galaxy's light. A telescope unhindered by our sun and moon and could see the dim stars just as well as the bright ones. So began the long process of building the JWST. If they were going to accomplish this goal, they could not settle for a low-orbit telescope like the Hubble. No, they had to both figuratively and literally go beyond the limitations of the Earth. This means that the JWST's biggest strength is also its biggest flaw. It has a one-way ticket to space. With an orbit set a million miles away from Earth, nobody will be seeing the JWST again after its launch. Unfortunately, with an initial launch date planned for 2007, it has been delayed to the launch date we have today, December 18, 2021. But why? What makes this time different? Those who've been following the JWST for a long time are accustomed to disappointment. This time, however, it seems like the launch date is inevitable. On October 12th of this year, the JWST completed a 5,800-mile journey across the sea to reach French Guiana, its launch point. By all means, the telescope is complete. There are no engineering complications to fix, no budgeting restraints, and it is a complete project. The only thing left is to see it to the end. The JWST program director, Gregory Robin, confirmed that the JWST is, in fact, ready for launch. Robin stated, Now that we have an observatory and a rocket ready for launch, I am looking forward to the big day and the amazing science to come. Staring down the finish line, all that is left is for the scientists, engineers, and NASA to do their last-minute check to ensure that everything is in proper working order for the launch. Endless Possibilities There has not been a scientific jump like this since we landed on the moon. There's no telling what significant advancements in space exploration we are bound to uncover. With the ability to examine the possibilities of life on every visible star system, we may discover things only thought of as science fiction. We may be able to witness the origin of galaxies and observe the creation of star systems. Do you think life on Mars would be a fantastic discovery? Try discovering life on a completely different star system. We have opened the door to the golden age of space exploration and this is only the beginning. The first step may be observing the universe, but the next may be exploring it ourselves. While the construction and mission of the JWST may be measured in decades, the human expanse is measured in centuries. In a thousand years, they will be looking back at this moment, and we will be the giants whose shoulders they stand on. The age of space exploration is upon us. The JWST is finally ready to be launched, and with it, answers to the known universe. The next 10 years following the launch of the JWST will elevate science and astronomy to levels we only dreamed about in science fiction. Now, nearly a quarter century in the making, we have achieved the impossible. Together, along with the JWST, we will launch humanity into the infinite beyond.